Hi, I'm Michael. And I'm Hollis. And this is our girl, Kana. <laughs> Previously on the vlog, we explored the Pacific Northwest and crossed into British Columbia, Canada the country border. Verify COVID for a quick family visit. While most of our time in the province was filled with family time, we managed to check out a few interesting spots around the city of Chilliwack, British Columbia, not too far away from the U.S.-Canadian border. I'm in America. I'm in Canada. You are, hi Holland. <laughs> How does the U.S. feel like, Michael? Feels like a useless line. Feels like home. But our brief time in Canada is coming to an end. And we're once again heading back south towards the U.S. border. Well, that was a quick visit, but time to go back to Washington State. Home sweet home, USA. 300 meters, to turn left onto Street. Hello. Are those Georgia plates? Yes. Anything to declare? Do you guys pick up anything in Canada that you're bringing back into the U.S.? Do you have any citrus of any kind or oranges, lemons, and lime? We have one orange, one orange. thing left. I'll take that one. Okay. Any okay. avocados or anything like that? Green onions. Alright guys, you're all set. Welcome back. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Trip. Have a good day. Yeah. Take care. We're back in Washington State. And of course, our first time riding the Washington State Ferry. Should be fun. All children need to be strapped into their car seats prior to learning to load the boat. Thank you. See, I told you we'd get on the next ferry. Yes. Stop by the ship's office or ask any crew member. In accordance with state and federal law, the Canadian Washington State Ferry. Thank you for your attention. So we survived our first Washington State ferry experience and we arrived here on the Olympic Peninsula where we're planning to explore for the next few weeks. Left, right, Continue left. For two miles. It's a pretty good town. <coughs> we can't wait to start our adventure here in Washington State. We are at the Kift House in Discovery Bay, Washington. It is such a beautiful property. It is a huge house, lots of space. We just got here yesterday and this morning we are being treated to what's gonna be a beautiful sunrise. This is really cool. You can actually see the reflection of the sun on the water, but you can't actually see the sun. And today we're gonna to do something different. We're gonna tag along with our friend Dave who invited us to go to the bay. He's gonna set up a trap for some crabs. I'm sure we're gonna learn so much thing along the way. This whole bait thing is ancient, so I'm gonna replace it. Which one's the working one? This one. I'm gonna do a little bit of surgery on it. So this is an older one. They'll come in this way, bloop, and then get trapped in there. So if you abandon your trap, it needs to like naturally open over time. All right, looks good. Then I'll secure this with the requisite decomposable cotton twine for Washington fish and wildlife requirements. If you forget this or your buoy gets separated, it's sitting at the bottom and not a trap forever. Yes. I think they call it rot, rot cord. Crab measure, six and a quarter. That's what it's gotta be. The biggest one or minimum? M minimum. You'll stick the crab into it and as long as it makes contact, we're good. This is the required half red, half white buoy. They don't allow fishing on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Oh, crab. Okay, let's make it organized. Try to go back and forth so it doesn't make a wind up the line, you know? Yeah. Breakfast of champions. Fancy feast for the crab. Mm, good fancy feast in there. Yummy, yummy. And I actually should have poked some holes in here, but... I'm gonna let it smell like tuna. It's great. So I think we'll do that. Then we'll pick up whatever dead fish we can find laying around there. Here we go. Fresh guts. Oh, nice and gross. Okay, yep, it's got a kick. Okay, I think it'll do it. Yeah, smell fishy for sure. Go in the middle so they got something that they get. Ta-da! Ready. 
Now it's a fun park, we just gotta have to be in the water. <laughs> That's why we have kayak and paddle board. It'll be fun. The nice thing about the paddle boards is they have these cool little tie downs. Whatever you do, don't drop this camera. But if you're gonna drop it, drop it in a really deep section where you can't possibly get it again. I want a new camera. My goal is not to get wet whatsoever. Let's see whether I can do that. <laughs> Including my feet. Within point to point? Yep. So it has, it has to nest in within there. So. All right, enough practice measuring. All right, you got everything? Maybe. <laughs> okay. Now just hold the camera. Okay. One, two, I am. three. Whee! Don't do that. <laughs> okay. All right, Dave, I'm coming. Oh, this is a lot of fun. Very peaceful. So far. <laughs> Just don't fall, at least. And now this is the obvious reason that we're in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> the ocean. Because we have to drop in the uh, hull trap into the uh, floor. And that's what Dave's doing. Oh. Ah, rookie move. Fastening to the front where I can't get to it. Oh, you want me to do it? Right around me, ready? That's probably the easiest part, huh? When do we have to pick it up? An hour. An hour? Uh huh. Oh. All right. See you in an hour. Dave's excited. It's after three-day permit. Yep. So if we don't get this one, we might go tomorrow and the next day. An hour later, we're gonna check our trap. <laughs> I doubt we're gonna catch anything. <laughs> we shall see. Yes. There we go, the crab master has arrived. Well, not a zip. Not a butt. It's okay. I'll just put it out further. You want to get the different spot, so come back and get that lunch. Well, second try. I think it's gonna go next to a rock. Maybe a better strategy. <laughs> the whole experiment. Yes. All right, we have an example of, I guess, a dead crab here on the beach, and this is the red rock crab. I know it because the tip of the claws are black. This is 11 o'clock, and I think we're gonna go out. Well, Dave's gonna go out and check out our second chance of trapping a crab, and hopefully, you know, there's something in it. <laughs> but it's a 50-50 chance, obviously. Good juju. I'm trying to keep my expectations reasonably low. But we'll see. Like a lost semen. <laughs> oh, way! Is that the right size? Yes. Oh, he's unhappy. Red rock. <sighs> yeah. First, let's check it. Now that we got this thing. <sighs> yep, we're good. Five quarter. Run! You can still make it. We gotta check if it's males or females. This is a, looks like a female. How do you know? Because the male's little middle piece there looks like a <laughs> <laughs> It's like long and skinny. Uh, so I can put a wet towel on him. You don't want to just fill it up with water? <laughs> no, because they'll run out of oxygen and drown. So this apparently allows them to get water while staying tight. Let them come. Keep him moisturized. Yep. You can only keep male dungeness. But on the red rock, you can keep either side. We are utilizing the basement's kitchen because I don't know what the smell is going to be. We're cooking fresh seafood here, but we're trying to stay away from other people when cooking seafood here at the gift house. Oh, that guy. Unhappy. Very slowed down. It's really cold water. The biggest part now is preparing the crab itself for consumption. I'm personally slightly, maybe bizarrely allergic to seafood, so I might not eat anything. But Dave's gonna prepare something delicious with this crab. What are you making, Dave? Uh, I'm just gonna make steamed red rock and a little corn, potato, and spices, and then we'll dip it in some garlic. Nice. Coriander, some red pepper, uh, Saigon cinnamon, and a little cayenne, 
had to get them all from the van. <laughs> a little mustard, red chili powder, and smoked paprika. That's yummy stuff. That should be good. Stir that up. It is from Chef Dave's private collection. <laughs> so that looks like it's doing its thing, right? So take the back two legs, hold it. And we're gonna aim for the nerve center that's right there. Apparently that's an instant death. Lined up, and you wanna do it hard and forceful. There you go. Everything draining out is a good sign. Okay, so we take this little guy off. Bag here to put everything in because it gets smelly. Okay, we're just gonna take this and blood muscle. Oh, and you don't want to eat these. These are the gills. They're inedible. This is called crab butter. This yellow stuff. This normally you'd add to your stock or butter, and it would be really yummy, and delicious. So, uh, but since there's toxicity levels in the water, we're not gonna do that. Okay. That's our two guys. That's what we'll steam. So that's the two delicacies. Red rock. So there's body meat and of course a lot of claw meat. Do so. Got a little steam. Get that ready. You definitely know your cooking crab tricks and seasoning and all of that. Oh man. I've cooked a few crab got an apparatus to lift the crab out of the water. So this is the setup. Kind of a you know improvised situation, but it'll work. Yeah. Yeah. Fifteen minutes. <laughs> Definitely smell a seafood here, <laughs> but in a good way. There's a lot of season smell as well, so you know this is gonna be good. All the dipping sauce. A little bit of garlic, a little bit of butter, a little bay leaves, and lime juice. Mayo, sriracha, paprika, salt, and pepper. Corn's ready, but let's see. Got garlic on there. Should probably have gloves for this, but. <sighs> Hot. My bludgeoner. Just separate it. Ooh, that's a good spot right there. Yeah. These are so hard though, it's like hard to get in there. Is that normal or this is just kind of the species that is? Yeah, this is, a, this is a really hard to get into crab. Red rock, is that why? <laughs> well, and it might also be why they're not that popular. Those are hard to get to work for. Body meat in there. Just everything, pretty much, huh? Yeah, everything you can get. So we'll go for the big daddies first. Yeah, much better. That's what you want. All right, Dave, you should know how many legs are a crab cap. Gosh, eight. Are you sure? No, oh, I'm not sure. Beautiful. These are rock hard. Yeah. All right, I'm sure there are meat inside, right? Yep. So all the legs. That leg looks like it has an injury. I'll throw that one out. That, pull that off. And then... This is the goal. Just a perfect lump. Nice. And that's it. That's what we're left with. Plating. That's right. It's definitely Dave's specialty. Buttery sauce on the corn and the thing. There you have it. Is it good? It's great. Delicious. Well, uh, we clean up crew. I'm gonna get a fork and a spoon. Uh, where do you wanna eat? Yeah, in the porch thing? Gonna eat that picnic table? Yes. <laughs> it's exciting. <laughs> nice. Got some sun. Yeah. Wait, just the source. <laughs> <laughs> well, cheers. Mm. Hanging along. <laughs> bon appetit. No tea, <laughs> just tea. Yeah, bon appetit. That was fresh and very good. And Dave was spot on with all the sauce and everything. Highly recommend it <laughs> if you ever gone crabbing here in Discovery Bay. And that's it guys. That's our experience doing some crabbing here in Discovery Bay, Washington State. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. And if you want to follow along with our journey 
all around the United States and beyond. Hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching. Remember how much my dad loved this? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs>